All right, so we're here at the Renaissance Hotel and we are doing some stop motion. I've got my little camera tripod rig set up here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little scene with these, this little Nespresso pod coffee machine and we are gonna do a little dance with the cups and then also with these pods across this table. The camera is gonna come up on this desk, I'll show you in a second, and it's gonna be facing directly down, so it's gonna be an overhead shot of the cups and the pods doing a little dance. So let's give it a go. So I've set my Kelvin to 5,000 Kelvin. So it's not on auto and that way I won't get color shifts every, throughout every photo. It's on manual focus, but I'll turn that onto auto, focus my shot, then I'll turn it back onto manual focus. My ISO is very high, it is at 1250, so maybe we'll just take that down to about, so that's it there, zero zero is our exposure meter. We've got everything set up here. Camera is facing down. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have these cups here. Take a photo, move them, take a photo, move them. The things you need, tripod, camera, obviously. Uh, and then another thing is this. Unless your camera's got a built-in intervalometer, um, fine, but otherwise you're gonna need a, a remote timer. Or you can take them, you can take them, um, put on self-timer and then just two second, five second self-timer and do it that way. You, what you wanna be doing is not to try and take the photo um, with your hand because it will probably create a little bit of uh, slight movement um, and you might, you want the camera to be still so each shot is perfectly still otherwise you can get movement throughout the shot. Yep. 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 Moving little babies. <laughs> Woo! Show you anyway. So as you can see, it takes a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop motion is not quick. It's slow, but it's very creative. You can be so creative with it. It's endless. Can't wait to finally see what it all looks like. Go. Cool. <laughs> so cool. Look at him go, get in. Wow. <laughs> okay, so now that you've transferred your photos onto your computer, open up the file with all your photos. Here are mine here. Right, now the first thing you want to do is to rename all these files. So, I highlight them all rename 329 items and then I'm just going to call them stop motion and I'm going to start it at 1000 now you want to do this because when you import them into After Effects um, sometimes I've had problems in the past when I don't start the number at a thousand or above um, so I've noticed in the past that if I do this it um, it gets rid of that problem. So I just always start every sequence with the number 1000. Um, so rename. Okay, so now everything is renamed. Stop motion 1000 and up. So now open up After Effects. Okay, now we've opened up After Effects. I'm going to click out of this. And basically, what I do is I go to File, Import import and then file and then once I do this I go to where my photos are saved in this case it is St Pancras Hotel stop motion and then I'm just going to click on the first one stop motion 1000 and then I'm going to make sure that all acceptable files and then I'm going to tick this create composition and I'm also going to tick this import JPEG sequence so from there all I do is I press open 
and it automatically creates a sequence for me. So now, when I press the space bar, all these photos are made into a sequence. Okay, now that I have my new sequence, this is it playing here. So basically, what I want to do is I just go to composition, pre-render. Now I go down here and I, I'm just going to change my frame rate to 24 frames a second. Press OK. Now this one here, quick time. I'm just going to go format options, video. I just changed mine to none, compressed RGB 8-bit. Uh, OK, and then I'm going to resize mine because it doesn't need to be that big and I'm just going to make it 1080. Uh, take this lock aspect ratio off and I'm going to go 1920 by 1080 by 1080. There you go. Um, OK, and then just find a place where you want to save it. I'll just save mine on my hard drive. Um, Let's just go new folder uh, stop motion sequence and then I'll just go 1920 by 1080 create save all right and then you just go press render and that will slowly render out the sequence all right, now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Premiere Pro. Okay, once Premiere Pro is open, we're going to go new project. Let's just call it Stop Motion. Choose a place where you want to save it. I'll just save mine on my external hard drive. Okay. All right, now what we want to do is we want to go File new sequence all right i just choose i want my sequence to be 23.976 or 24 frames a second so i'll just choose this one here the re 1080p 23.976 on rename the sequence stop motion okay hit okay radio right, now i have a new sequence which is 1920 by 1080 the same as the sequence that we saved in Adobe After Effects. So now what we want to do is to go File, Import, here we go. We want to go to London, uh, Stop Motion Sequence 1920 by 1080, Stop Motion 1920 by 1080 Movie, Import. Rightio, now we want to drag this on to our timeline. Okay, as you can see, it's very fast. This is too fast, so I'm going to nest the sequence. So I click on it, double click, nest. Okay, now I'm going to press the R on my keyboard, which brings up this. And basically, what I can do is I can hover on the end of this clip and I can change the speed so I can slow it down. Now let's slow it down by, that's 44.84%. Let's slow it down even slower to maybe 25, that'll do. All right, so now that's a lot better. It's more of a stop motion feel. We can choose some music, file, import, just go music. Oops. Anything will do. Just go to file, export media, stop motion. Where you want to export it to? Let's just call it stop motion. Final. On the Lacey drive, save 1920 by 1080. Uh, H point yes, yes. Uh, render at maximum depth. Um, export. 